It's the 230270 awning. You've seen it before. This time I'm going to set it a lot for you. So I'm going to do the walls as well. So let's get into it. Okay, that's the awning set up. Uh, next, we're going to set up the uh, walls. Getting hungry yet, or what? Getting hungry. No, hungry so we've got Ed here for Ed's for driving camping. He's uh, cooking up a nice uh, roast. Um, you'll be seeing that on a future video, no doubt. We're actually uh, here at Cobram uh, together doing a couple of collab videos, and uh, also just working on. Um, pumping out a few videos for you uh, over the next few weeks. So as you can see this is actually brand new out of the box so work it out. There's two pieces. I haven't quite worked out which piece is which. A. I'm guessing A goes at the front. Okay, so we set all that up. I'm going to take the um, camera off now and give you a bit of a closer look. But uh, before I do that, I just want to talk a little bit about the quality of it. I think overall the uh, canvas feels pretty good. Um, it's a really good uh, material. The uh, walls feel pretty uh, sturdy. The zips, heavy duty. I'm pretty impressed actually with the pegs because uh, surprisingly they actually give you some decent pegs because often you buy uh, most tents and all that and you often have to replace the uh, um, pegs but uh, I don't think that's going to happen in this case I think they're actually uh, decent pegs and the uh, guy ropes are actually pretty good now keep in mind that I haven't actually um, pegged this down uh, I've just done a bit of a rough job because uh, I will unpack it it's 37 degrees today so uh, the walls are not going to be needed I'll uh, give you a bit of a run through with the walls and then I'll uh, take the walls off and give it a bit of a run through with just the awning as well okay so I just want to give you a bit of a closer look um, of the awning like I said I have done it a little bit uh, rough but uh, there's plenty of tie down good uh, tie down points so you can see one there they've actually got them at the top that's for uh, rolling up the awning there's actually a um, tie down points in the middle uh, between the uh, poles and that's obviously uh, to uh, guide the rain away from the um, inner but uh, yeah, look, overall it's a pretty uh, solid uh, awning and uh, it, it actually feels quite good to hold and it's quite dark in there, but I'll give you a, a better look inside. So hopefully you can see that it's uh, actually plenty of space inside. It's actually pretty roomy. So um, I've actually got this set up uh, a little bit low just because of the setup of my um, trailer, but uh, yeah, look, lots of space in, in there. But let's take the walls off and have a better look at the awning. Okay, so here we go. The uh, Falcon 270 awning from 230 all set up and ready to go. So um, let's have a bit of a closer look. And uh, overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It's a, a good little unit. It packs away quite nicely. It's about, uh, I think it's 18 or 19 kilos packed away. Um, perfect for my camper trailer. Would uh, suit a car quite nicely as well because it's not too long. Um, so it's kind of a freestanding uh, design. It's got three poles basically that uh, fold up into the uh, rooftop, into the uh, awning. So they've got some Velcro tabs there as you can see that uh, hold on to those. And then there's another three poles that actually sit inside the awning when it's packed away. And um, you don't have to necessarily use them all, but uh, I have in this case. And I've only got uh, three uh, um, tie down points though. But as you can see, there's plenty of tie down points. So if the weather does pick up and you want to get a bit of uh, rain, you know, you want to get the rain draining off, it's a pretty good design. Um, the material is uh, quite a heavy duty and feels really nice actually. Um, being darker too gives you, um, you know, good protection, especially with the walls. It makes it quite dark as well. So uh, it's quite nice. 
the structure of it uh, pretty solid um, you know and uh, you can see the uh, thickness of the uh, aluminium um, frames up there it's uh, pretty good so you've got another one up here as well so this actually as you can see folds out so call it a 270 but I think it's actually probably more than that but uh, yeah on the camper trailer it actually folds out quite nicely and uh, there's a little flap up here that uh, sits between if you like the car and the uh, awning so um, stop the rain running down the side of the car and uh, that can actually be taken out and put uh, at either end so um, that just slides out so overall it's a pretty good setup I just want to give you a quick look now at the uh, Ed from Ed's four-wheel drive camping over there and his uh, what you call it Ed the Fox wing yeah, we call it a Fox wing, uh, and, yeah. Fox wing and um, yeah like that's uh, a little bit more involved in setting it up doesn't quite sit as nice uh, Ed's quite impressed with the uh, 230 awning so uh, thinking about uh, upgrading the Dutch is actually a very similar unit and uh, we've actually got a friend who uh, dirt 4x4 um, who uh, is started selling the Dutchies so might be able to talk to him and get a good deal so there you go guys if you um interested in the Falcon 270 awning uh, from 230 it's a great little unit and uh, I'm pretty impressed with it uh, that's it thanks for watching uh, if you like all this please subscribe hit that bell do all that stuff and uh, we'll see you next week thanks guys yeah.